State Representative Lorraine Birabil leading the charge at Freedmen's Memorial Cemetery Wednesday afternoon, where African Americans from as far back as the Civil War are buried in unmarked graves. Participants holding signs with the names of those who've died during or after police encounters. We're all here to make sure that we get the structural changes that we need. The Dallas Democrat calling for the governor to hold a special session to address concerns of the black community and criminal justice reform. She plans to file the see something, say something bill. Law enforcement asked the general public to, if you see something, you should call us and say something. We're simply asking law enforcement to do the same. If they see a colleague who's engaged in police brutality or misconduct, they should say something. She says some police departments may have similar rules, but she wants to make it mandatory statewide with consequences ranging from a misdemeanor to a felony for failing to report. For her, the issue is also personal. After a 2013 incident involving her father, who she says was assaulted by police after she called for help. After that, I decided to go to law school because I wanted to be a part of the solution. Showing his support, former Dallas Cowboy Greg Ellis. I'm glad to see the reaction that the country, and not just black people, but all people are coming together to recognize, hey, it's, it's injustice going on and something needs to be done about it. And we understand that this protest will end at the MLK Center near Fair Park. Uh, so far, officers have been blocking traffic, helping to shepherd this group along. No confrontational interactions so far here today. All is peaceful. Stephen Heather.